what is up guys welcome back to e46 channel today i'm going to show you how to change the vent valve or the engine breather valve i am getting the code P, uh, po42 and uh, there are two components that are related to that it is for the emission test uh, it is the dmpl pump that i already changed for the leak detection detection pump that is located on the tank side on the rear like behind the under the car behind the rear wheel and uh, the vent valve i changed that one without even checking it because i have the uh, scan tool that showed me i had a uh, large leak from that pump over there now i'm getting a small leak so there is no way i get small leak from that one even though uh, to test uh, the DMPL pump it has to be connected to a power source otherwise it stays open that's the only way how you can check that but this one you can check it just like this so I just got this one and to do this you need a uh, vacuum pump This one is good i haven't checked it yet i just got it on the mailbox and it's about 17 18 hg and as you can see it holds vacuum so the new one is good we'll see we'll go ahead and check the old one which is located right under the manifold here but for that we're gonna have to take the uh, air box air filter box out which is held by uh, two 10 millimeter bolts and these are actually all the tools you need for this job a 10 millimeter socket uh, a vacuum pump there it is right there and uh, to disconnect the connector the power source there is just a push pin tab on the side here that you push and pull out just like that so that is the pin that you push and now for the valve itself as you can see here there is a piece of metal that goes through it and it holds it in place that's rubber once we do that on the other side uh, both uh, uh, hoses both connectors now uh, are push pin tabs as well but it's plastic like the one i showed you on the uh, dmtl pump is the same idea uh, actually just one of them the bigger I'll be able to focus the bottom one there you can see you push this pin here and I'll try to do it with one hand see if I can get it okay there it's off and now the other one is just a rubber hose so you gotta pull out and wiggle around a bit just like that but it's time to test the old Vent valve. We'll see if this one is gonna hold vacuum. Same procedure will go to about 17 or 18.
it shows that it holds okay I actually see the gauge the needle moving slowly dropping vacuum and as the reading we're saying okay so it's uh, about 17 right now if I let it like that it's gonna keep dropping and as the computer were saying uh, it's just a uh, small leak and I'm gonna explain uh, how the computer determines if it's small medium or uh, okay there is the new one if it's a small medium or a large leak uh, so this is the diagram to show you guys where the components are located uh, the engine breather valve is located uh, or the vent valve is located at the engine and then it is connected uh, with fuel vapor lines with the uh, leak detection pump or the DMTL pump that is connected with the charcoal canister and from there is another uh, line that goes into the uh, tank, the gas tank and on the gas tank there is the pressure sensor that uh, monitors the vacuum uh, between these lines and these components so there is the gas cap as well that shows if the gas cap is not tightened uh, like it should it sets the uh, the code that you have a uh, vacuum leak as well so this is how the computer determines if there is a leak or no now what the values are uh, for a small medium and large leak I don't know that but anyways, my uh, OBD scan is showing me that I have a uh, small leak and that small leak uh, code P0442 might come from the connections on the vent valve uh, or the charcoal canister or the vent valve itself because the, I changed the leak detection pump and uh, I know that is good but all this uh, monitoring come from the pressure sensor that determines if there is or not a uh, vacuum leak first is the rubber hose that we're gonna connect just push in like that and then for the connector on the bottom we'll just press it in till you hear that snap you gotta hear that snap and then place it on that rubber like on that metal thing there if I can I'll be able to show you there it's right there and now we'll connect the power source to it just like that and for this one you got here the snap too and that is it for the vent valve we'll put the air filter box back in